thing to keep in mind about him, you know, Goichi doesn't just have tricks with Chun. He has great footsies and all that. His execution is excellent. He hits all the combos. He has all the setup. Very complete Chun Li player. He's not someone who just has one part of his game down. And it's the same thing for Nemo. He has these crazy setups that almost nobody else does with Vega. Uh, and he takes advantage of the walk speed well. So it's going to be a really footsie heavy matchup. It's going to be a lot of pestering from Vega. And when Chun knock, uh, knocks him down and gets some kind of pressure to lock him up, it's going to be tough. We'll see how it goes. Two of the strongest players out of Japan. And uh, as we mentioned, uh, I think earlier, if you guys didn't know, Nemo sponsored really Alienware just right, right now. Mm -hmm. See the shirt he is repping there. So. That just happened very recently. Yeah, it was, it's just less than a month ago, probably. Yeah, yeah just a few weeks. So Nemo now going into a full sponsored player. Chun Li. Going to be trying to get into the Capcom on Pro Tour later on this year. See what he can do here at Evo. It's going to be Goichi on the left as Chun Li, Nemo on the right as Vega. Super, super fast paced matchup. Really fast technical characters, and we'll see how it goes. I'm also really curious to see what stance uh, Nemo favors in this matchup, whether it's claw or no claw, because, uh, you know, you have uh, different options in each one, and I'm expecting him to maybe switch it up. The one nice thing about it is both modes has the roll. The roll can be used as a raw anti-air against air lightning kicks. It's very effective. Yeah, see, immediately no claw from him, and that, that's one thing he opts for pretty often. Uh, and I was thinking about He switches between them pretty openly. They love the punish on the overhead. Oh, there we go. Air Lightning gets immediately from Goichi, and he's going to get the hit. Trying to take Nemo to the corner. And you oh, see that's the speed. punish. Yeah, excellent punish. Didn't have down charge for uh, Lightning Legs, or excuse me, Bird. Air Legs out of the air. Bad spot to be if you're Nemo, but the wake up short again gets out of there. That's one of the hardest things about that air lightning kick. A lot of times you're like trying to jump in on Chun Li, and then all of a sudden she goes for those air legs, and then it juggles you out of the air as well. Very discouraging. Nice confirm into the EX wall dive. Gets the positioning here and set up. You see the light kick. Keeps it pretty simple. Jump over and out. Chun Li out of the corner. One thing I like about Goichi, he mixes up air legs and regular jump a lot. So he doesn't just go for one or the other. So if you have an answer for one thing, he can beat it. Oh, challenging after the lightning kick into a trade, but Chun Li now sitting on a full super. Anything that hits can be confirmed into the critical art now. And you see Nemo, lots of jump, lots of dash back. He doesn't want to let him do that low strong into V trigger. And, and, got him, got and doesn't even need to use the critical art. Only spends one bar on the EX lightning kicks to be able to take that round, moving into the next round with two bars. I love the movement from Nemo at the end of that though, just in case he was so avoiding that low strong that he ended up running into something else. That roundhouse from him. Going in. Oh wow, that wasn't even a, a true link or anything like that, but can get that hit. And no challenge to the air lightning kick from Nemo. Yeah, that's a really important thing to establish against Chun there. So the command throw is their medium. Goes for the overhead and a back dash from Goichi. Vega almost now building up to that beat trigger. Gonna be able to confirm to the super round from that. And you can oh see, oh yeah, it's a missed base slide, no critical art from Goichi. Yeah, I mean, you, oh, there it is, like I said, he well triggered confirmed in. him in super. But the interesting thing about Nemo so far is he's gone for a couple of risky slides. Yeah, and you know, and it, I think it's just to say, like, look, I will go for this, and you have to stop walking right. forward. You can't just take up this space. And as soon as you establish that, then there's all kinds of other options you can go to. Nemo oh. with the jump medium kick, it stuffed the ants in here. What a great distance and timing on that jump medium kick. Not sure if that's just, uh, you know, something that he's going to go to a lot to try to beat that anti-air light kick. And I like that immediately again, Nemo flawless. He, he switches it up right away for different options. Yeah. The jump in again works. Yeah, same thing, yeah. It might be a, just a little secret that, you know, that he's been saving here. Gets the EX. No. the rolling, there's the other side. Nemo keeping up the offense. And Sierra. Yeah, at that range, not going to be able to get over it with a medium kick. Again, getting in with that slide at a range where I don't think it was safe. Definitely not. Koichi is just walk, trying to oh, walk back. The super? No. Going to save it. Oh, missed time the meaty, and that's going to be the round. Yeah, he went for the four roundhouse, but there was a back roll from Nemo, which is why he got out of the way. First game to him. Yeah, he was trying to save that super so that he could confirm it like on an actual kill hit. Right. Not going to happen. Yeah, sometimes players will think that way. They don't want to spend their critical R too early, or you want to save it for that last moment. But, round you know, one. Chun Li gets a, a pretty nice situation for himself afterwards, so you would think that you'd want to use it. Jump in again, and you see Nemo will take lots of risks. He's not afraid of them because even if he gets punished for them, when they work out, he gets such great offense from it. And it's just basically playing the pot odds, you know, every once in a while you jump in, you get anti-air light kick, that's not that much damage. No, but yeah. you get one combo in there and all of a sudden you just do this giant chunk of damage. Yeah, he's really not averse to those kind of risks at all. Alright, throw. throw, yeah. Tries to get him with that 
overhead, was able to block the air lightning hits in time, but now Goichi confirming off of the low medium punch in the future. Confirm from Memo himself as the setup. Oh, you see the late rise from Goichi. He's it out. Gets in there with the EX. One more will do it from him. And there it is. Double jab. Caught him. Counter hit on wake up Memo. Likely hitting stand like. Round two. Let's see if Goichi can keep it up. Much better round for himself. He did a great job keeping up the anti airs. Oh, drop the confirm. Now Nemo can punish, but he oh, got a two Yeah, caught him out of the air, so very lucky for Goichi. Trying to walk under, but didn't make it. Just rare with Vegas walk speed. Goichi now is good with the corner position. Got a good chunk of damage on there. You see both of them neutral jump to try to stop some of the offense from the opponent. Love the confirm. Empty from Nemo. I wonder what he did. Maybe just baiting, spinning her. Oh, caught. Didn't get the combo. Nemo can confirm into the EX. He's going to have positioning and set up here. Wow, wake up crouching jab. Oh, no confirm. Yeah, not into low medium kick. Only in the standing line punch. Well, Goichi had the critical art on deck, so I'm surprised they didn't bring it out. Next hit will be in a critical art. You gotta watch out for that fierce oh, confirm. Here it comes, yeah, into the EX wall dive. What's the setup now? Nemo What's not out of this up? just yet. Oh, Goes the, the fierce and the regular trap. throw. Nemo puts himself into another round. Now close to taking this maybe 2 0. Oh. I love that little mix up he went for there. <laughs> Nemo Clawless again, you see, oh, he, he opts for this stance, probably for the faster normal neutral, and he doesn't feel like he needs stuff like forward heavy kick, or forward pairs. He seems to really like to have, able to have that option to stand heavy punch into the stance switch. Right, which combo. is so good from Vega. He's in a position to go for more offense oh. after him. Same slide again, yeah, as you mentioned. But you know what? I, I, like you said, I think he just wants to make sure, because you see how Goichi's playing. Goichi's crouching a lot, because he knows that Nemo wants to slide a bunch of times. Yeah, and if he can make Goichi just down back, that's when he can go for stuff like dash up. Oh, that was Amber. definitely an execution error. Didn't mean to do the lightning kick that high up in the air. Yeah, super high. Okay, confirm. Didn't confirmed do critical arc. Super, arms. yeah. Very oh, got it. Oh, that should, should be, be it. Right yeah, yeah, great work. Goichi is going to tie it up one to one. Yeah, finally pulled out in time to meet her. Surprised it took him so long for Goichi. Spends it. Great work to him. One apiece. Charlie wins. And you know, those risks, so that, that game didn't work out for Nemo, but they did in the first one. So it's one of those situations where you're, it's unlikely to see him not bring out stuff like point blank slide and jump right. and stuff like Round that. He just, he's going to take it because his offense is so right. successful when he does manage to get in there. And sometimes even when you lose games like that, you win in other ways, like establishing that you're sliding a bunch of times. Sure, it got punished, but now it's going to bleed over into the later games that might take effect there. And you can already see it. Goichi is crouching so much right. and because of that, Nemo is just dashing up in there and getting pressure just like that. And it's, it's because he's giving up that, that slide damage occasionally. Got him with the late tech. Pressure here for Goichi. All right, nice counter poke there from Nemo, and like you said, getting those floor dashes and going for the slide at a little safer range, but too far. We're trying to get under, confirm. Air legs has been eating him alive. Media, and there's the V reversal in the corner. It's not going to get him out. Oh, nice dash under, and now swapping positions. Luigi, nice throw tech, but then just cuts caught before he can get out of jump, and this time Nemo does get him on the ground. Confirms into the EX wall. Gets the setup now. That fierce into the stand switch, yes, looking to see if there are buttons from Goichi. Oh, oh Punish for yes, sure. Yes. Didn't build the critical art, he was so close and I know he was looking for it. Oh, Punish maybe? No, oh, yeah. No, gonna keep himself safe with the V-Trigger, yeah. Chun Li now. Oh, dangerously, oh, yeah, yeah, there it is, okay. I was about to say, dangerously close to even chip range, but doesn't even need to and can go into round two with the full meter. Yeah, and that V-Trigger for Chun Li able to make low strong safe at pretty much any range. You just pop it. Such a great option for her to close out rounds. Oh, that standing light kick. He's hiding a little too early. Oh, oh. missed the throw from Nemo. And because of that, he ended up in the corner. Oh, no, and then dashed into the neutral jump. Goichi just choosing to go with the regular lightning kicks instead of the bird kick combo. Oh, no! Crouching medium punch is very punishable at that range. And he didn't feature her cancel it, which is what I expected. Oh, one more will do it. Oh, Other there side, is. yeah, Nemo yeah. will get the round. Great right. work. Throw for meter build as well. See in the bottom right, right and left, both these guys on full critical arc. Fire. Make it just right and under it, but essentially their next hit's gonna give it. There it is. Now both of them with full resources to go in there and immediately Nemo spends some for that EX roll to get the setup and the corner carry. Beautiful air to air with that jumping oh, kick. Okay, didn't get in there in time. Oh, Sanfir's counter hit, but nothing else afterwards. No confirm off of that fireball. Oh, what a confirm off low medium kick from Luigi. Yeah, just throwing them out there, low board in the super motion, and if Vega doesn't dash, that's there a happens. quick rise? Yeah, and then a quick rise. Earlier we saw that that wasn't the case. 
Air legs, good again. Finds the hit. Goichi, all kinds of offense here. Nemo not out of it though. Lots of bar to work with as well as the trigger. Oh, just, just get out of the corner. Yeah, that's all he wants to do. He's sitting there on a full meter now. You see the shorts from Goichi this? hitting such low wrist buttons. Oh, oh, that was no. a, so scary. Yeah, he couldn't do much out of yeah, that. Yeah, because you can't cancel the crowd strong in claw form. Exactly. Yeah. Overhead oh, with Oh, and the EX man. from yeah. Goichi goes up 2 1 over Nemo. Again, this is loser side. This is the other side of the loser side oh, bracket. So, loser yeah. of this is sent home. Winner moves on. And you see, look at Goichi right now, just the relief on his face, and now spending some time to think about it, gathering himself a little bit. Round one. Nemo, of course, one of the strongest players towards the end of Ultra's life cycle there. He was one of the strongest players, considered one of the best at that game. Showing that he has the chops here as well in Street Fighter V, but Goichi trying to end this run. That was one of the first times he has missed air legs, and Nemo had to punish on deck. Oh, gets under. Had to guess with the slide. Now Nemo in there. He's gone for that overhead a few times right. afterwards. Goichi is ready for it. All right, again, that stand line kick anti-air. But again, you know, it's not a lot of damage. So I just, it's not enough to discourage Nemo to keep trying those jumps. Oh, nice. Getting him with the EX bird kick. Again, that standing line kick. Great defense from Nemo that time. He didn't hit a button or a tech throw, which he's done a few times. There's that slide. The walkout pressure jump oh, is good. Beautiful timing against the fireball. Predicted that. Jumped over. Got the combo. He's able to take that first round. And it's the little things that set up stuff like that. Nemo just walked backwards. Goichi thought, well, he's going to walk away. I'll set it up with a fireball. And that's when he jumped. Yeah, you walk into the optimal fireball range. Just attempt him to throw it that much more. And exactly Goichi, what Goichi did. Yeah, Goichi dropping his combo. They got the crowd jab and the stand medium punch. Did not connect it. Yeah, some execution errors from him. Walk under from Nemo, great oh, confirm. They oh, just chooses to spend the one bar on there, doesn't want it. And a command throw, already. Right, lots of offense from Nemo. Antier again stays in the front, regular throw from Goichi. Great position for himself, B trigger as well as corner. Okay. Late cancel on the road. Slide safe. Yep. Alright, it's gotta be pressure here from Goichi. Just goes for the raw air legs. No anti-airs from Nemo, but he gets the counter poke into the EX roll. Now corner position just needs a little oh, bit of life. cross up, it just hit Goichi. That was so ambiguous. It was so hard to tell which side that was going to land go. on. And yeah, you can see on Goichi's face, like, I just didn't think that was going to be a cross up. Yeah, so ambiguous at that range. And Nemo ties it up to a piece. In a match to see who's going to be knocked out of EVO at seventh place. There's such a long road through 5,000 players. <laughs> 5,100 players here at Evolution, oh, down to these top eights that we're watching right here at the Mandalay Bay. Really clawless again for Nemo. Oh, maybe missed the dash before the command throw. I'm wondering about that. Could have just been an execution error and again, punishable. But yeah, you can totally tell that Nemo just has this mindset that he's willing to take little bits of damage to keep going for risks. Yeah, totally his style. A lot of times people play just to avoid damage at all costs that's not necessarily beneficial to you. Right, especially since he has established that Goichi has to low block. Right. You cannot get away with not low blocking. Confirm, and that should be the round. Doesn't even spend the EX bar. Genius to use V-Trigger instead. And now Nemo, match point. What great awareness on his resources. Now, once again, every round he starts by dashing back, changing into the clawless stance, and yeah. going into the offense. Prefers the normals and, you know, just the offense that he can get, clawless. Yeah, clawless offense obviously has more combos than the claw mode. Yeah, if, you're, if you're looking to play footsies, maybe you'll stick it out of claw. Now, offense for Goichi. When you see uh, air tech, that was, air throw, that was jump OS tech from Nemo. Missed the stomp. Oh, yeah, he meant to do a forward jump in the stomp. Accidentally came out as a neutral jump stomp. Or it could have been missed air legs attempt, either one. Oh, gets in. Nemo, he's so dangerous at this point with V Trigger as well as Critical Art on deck. One, one, two, one. Look for the fierce frame trap, Goichi. I love Excellent the counter poke. Yeah, the counter poke timing right there from Goichi. New. That Nemo wanted to get him close, maybe set up a frame right. trap or throw situation. So press the button early, got the confirmative of the lightning uh, to the spinning bird kick and takes that round. Now it is match point, both players. Last game, last round, once again. Whips the slide and no whip punish. Spends the bar on this. Goichi can get offense after and then we'll just back that. Gotta be careful.
careful with this fuzzy range. Oh, he's got yeah. to confirm again. Yeah, that standing, that, I'm sorry, that jumping medium kick, beating the stand light kick at that particular range. Out of the air again, Goichi trying to get out of there. What a whip punish from Nemo. Again, has offense for himself, close to stun. Went oh, for the command he's throw. Gonna be able to go the he's gonna save it. Goes for the bird kick instead and goes for the pressure. Yeah, critical art still on deck. Has it? No Ooh. confirm. And Nemo with the whip, too. Man, such a dangerous position to be in. Just goes for it. He whiffed it. Oh, that was so dangerous of a moment. Goichi keeping up the offense. He still has critical art on deck as well. Good block on the airline. He just uses that to get out of the corner. That could have been Oh, it's not good. He gets the confirm. Goichi. Gonna be big damage. 37 hits from the super. Not He's got a kill. setup afterwards as well. In the front and the double stop from Goichi. Nemo, you see, just didn't. How do you know that that's gonna come out? It's just so ambiguous to block. Because you block, he could have just done a regular jump attack quickly in the crouching light kick and catch you low. Instead, you block the head stomp and then you crouch block and the second head stomp comes, catches you low, uh, catches you high while you're crouch blocking. Yeah, that was excellent work. It was that key moment, and that's what I mentioned earlier, that there was no quick rise, or Nemo was quick rising after the critical art, uh, but this time he didn't. Got hit by it. Stomp, stomp, and that's going to do it. Goichi is going to advance forward, and Nemo being sent home in seventh place. He uh, is tied with Eita in yes. seventh place. Yeah. So we're going to be right back with some more Street Fighter V. We'll see you guys soon.